Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be answering the question that I get asked the most. How do I get started making bucket plugins? How do I get started with Java? If you want to get in contact with me or just join the community, I have a link down below to my Discord. So we're going to start off by talking about basics of Java. What should you focus on learning whenever you're first starting out? There's many, many things you could spend your time and effort on, but in the end, it's not going to make sense unless you get some experience. So let me tell you about the things that you need to know before you start getting your experience. The number one thing, if you're going to take anything away from this video, is this. You need to learn how object-oriented programming works. You need to understand everything about it, from inheritance, to encapsulation, to abstraction. This, without a doubt, is going to make your code one million times better. Another thing I would recommend looking into alongside object-oriented programming is how instances work. Understanding how instances work will save you a lot of time and a lot of headaches. And it will also improve your code. It will prevent you from using static abuse which is something a lot of beginners do. They use the static modifier because they don't have to worry about which instances they should use or if they should create a new instance of a class for a specific thing or if they should use the same instance over and over again. There are times where the static modifier is supposed to be used. It's helpful. That's why they make it. But it is super, super common for people to abuse it. While we're on the topic of common beginner mistakes, I'm going to go ahead and throw this one in there. Don't use repetitive if statements. If you have two if statements that are basically identical, then you're going to need to use a loop. They make the efficiency of your code mwah, perfect. Loops are amazing. They save you so much time and they make your code look so much nicer. Not to mention you don't have to write out 100 if statements for every case. Now we're going to dive into a little bit about Java itself. Java is a platform independent language. This means you should not hard code any values that are specific to a certain operating system. For example, off the top of my head here, whenever you're using files in Java, if you put the slash file separator in your code, if you try to run the same code on Mac, it will not work because I know for a fact that Macs have a different file separator character than Windows and Linux do. Some things that come with experience though is knowing how to optimize your code and methods and how to split them up so that it is easy to read and work with, knowing any possible errors, any methods throw, things that the end user could get wrong. For example, typing in characters where you're supposed to input an integer, and also knowing how to structure your project. As I mentioned earlier, separating your code into different methods that do different things is super helpful, as well as separating your project into many different classes to organize it very nicely. So where should you begin? How can you learn? As I said before, if you learn everything I talked about, you will have no problem getting started. But to learn also requires experience. You can read for hours and hours on how to drive a car, how to ride a bike, but you'll never learn unless you jump in and just start trying. So that's what I encourage you to do. Follow some tutorials, read a blog, ask a dumb question or two, try something out, make a web scraper, make a bucket plugin. If you don't get experience, none of this will make sense. What if you want to make bucket plugins? How much of Java do you need to know before you begin? Well, that's honestly up to you. I would recommend doing the things I talked about at the very beginning, like learning how object-oriented programming works and how instances work, and then you can kind of learn everything else as you go. My one recommendation is if you take this route, do not jump right in with a big project. Start with something small. You're gonna make a whole bunch of tiny projects before you can build up to make the one big one. If you want somewhere to start, I have a tutorial series on my YouTube channel of how to make a bunch of different plugins. Follow along and maybe you can learn something. Anyways guys, that's all for today. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Nice, the mutt's nuts in fact.